understand now why people buy MacBooks. I'm not saying that I approve the decision, but I can understand why. So I've been shopping for a laptop recently because my current laptop is a G1570M from 2015. It has a fourth generation low power Intel 4210U and only eight gigabyte of RAM. It weighs about two tons and lasted about an hour before it dies. So I do have another desktop for most of the analysis work, but I think it's time that I use some of my YouTube money to actually replace this dinosaur. So I do have a simple plan. I want something decent with a long battery life and not much money. So most importantly, I want a lot of RAM for my bioinformatics stuff and upgradability for both the RAM and the SSD. Because if something happens to my storage, I'm not gonna just throw my whole laptop and buy a new one. So obviously no MacBooks for me. So since I'm also really cheap, I'm just gonna set up a budget of around 3,000 ringgit. So that's about 750 USD. So for bioinformatician out there, if you're new to the laptop and computer hardware space, a few things to look out for when you're buying a laptop. The most important part is make sure that your RAM size and as well as the upgradability of your RAM. So CPU is important for the calculations, but if you do not have enough RAM, uh, your, analysis just, your analysis will just not run at all. So for RAM, so for RAM capacity, I would say that you want to keep to a minimum of 16 uh, in your system and potentially upgrade that to 32 gigabyte if you really need it later. So RAM is inserted into something called a sodium slot. So the laptop RAM is slightly smaller than the laptop, the desktop RAM. So this is where my complaint starts, right? So most company when they're selling a laptop do not include specification on the, lap on the laptop on how many can you insert and how many is actually on the motherboard or actually being able to be replaced. So if you got yourself a soldered eight gigabyte laptop with no upgradability, uh, like Lian Chi did, you're simply SOL because the laptop top company will not allow you to return it because it's your fault that you need not spend three hours reading the manual about the actual configuration of the RAM. So there's also something called RAM frequency. So that's usually expressed in megahertz. So you want to look for a higher number. So usually it is about uh, 3,200 megahertz or mega transfer in this current day, but uh, 2666 26, 26 works well as well, depend on your CPU model. So for the CPU, at this current moment of time, uh, AMD is better in the low power space, while Intel is better in higher power space. Okay, so since I'm not looking for super fast CPU, I'm looking for something that is good enough with a longer battery life, AMD is gonna be my choice. And looking at the budget option, I should be looking at something like a 5500U or 5650 Ryzen 5. So if you're new to the space, uh, the higher number is better. Uh, Ryzen have a few skew. Currently, the 5000 series is the best. And for the Intel, the 12000 series is the best for what you need right now. Okay, so lastly, there's a battery. So there's many cells of the battery, but that's kind of useless what do you want to look out for is the battery capacity expressed in watt hour, okay? A higher number means more battery. So a three cell battery can range from 39 watt hour to 56 watt hour, depends on the model and configuration. So this is where my PSA starts. So dear laptop manufacturers, just please just put your information about your laptop straight on the page. Okay, so an Intel i5 itself is useless because it can mean something like a 12th gen Intel CPU or like a 4th gen Intel CPU, like what I have. Same, they're all called i5, but it's massively different in terms of their speed. Second is the frequency of your RAM, right? A 2666 megahertz is not the same as a 3200 megahertz or mega transfer, right? Single channel, dual channel, even the rankings of the RAM can affect the speed of the calculation in the long term. So for office users, if you're just watching YouTube video, it would not affect you significantly. But if you're running like us, an eight hour analysis, a 10 hour analysis, even a 10% different can save you a lot of time and in case save you a lot of money. 
So in this case, uh, with all that, that narrows my selection to about two laptops that I can find in the space. The MSI Modern 14 B5M, which has a 5500U and two RAM slot to be upgraded. And the IdeaPad 3, which of course has one RAM slot to upgrade and one RAM that is actually soldered to the motherboard. Both of them is about 2.5K on sales and they're able to be upgraded to a minimum of 16 to 30, 36 gigabyte uh, depends on the configuration so either one would work but since i'm looking for a smaller machine i would say msi has the edge it's smaller and lighter and has black lit keyboard so i think that's what i'm gonna go with so with that said i think there's only one thing left to do let's go and buy me a laptop